Hello and welcome to GMAX Studios. In today's episode, we will be talking about the differences between RAW and JPEG and hopefully telling you about when and which one should you be using. So let us talk about the JPEG first. So when the camera captures an image, the light hits the sensor and the camera processes this data with the processor and applies the settings that you have asked it to. These settings might be settings like white balance, ISO, picture quality and color profile. It then stores this file in a lock format and throws away the rest of the data. So this locked file in effect is your JPEG. It is almost like creating a print from a negative in a studio or in a dark room. As compared to this, the raw file is basically all the data that the sensor captures and it is dumped into an open file which you can then later post-process in software like Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. This raw data file is obviously called the raw file. So let us talk about the advantages of the JPEG first. The JPEG file is extremely small since it is processing the file according to the specifications that you have asked the camera to do. So it throws away rest of the data making the file extremely small and therefore taking up less storage space on the memory card and on your hard disk. The second advantage is that the JPEG files are ready files in the sense that you don't have to do anything with them, you don't have to process them in any software, so they are just ready to send to whoever so you wish or upload them to various social media networking sites. The JPEG format is pretty much a universally adopted format. So the files that you send will open in anybody's email or they will show up the way they are on pretty much any website that you choose to upload them to without any further processing. Now let us talk about the advantages of RAW. Now since RAW files are larger than JPEGs, you can obviously store lesser of them in your memory card or on your hard drive. Now since the raw file is an open file, it is extremely easy to change settings like temperature, exposure, contrast, etc. in post-processing. And perhaps this is the biggest strength of a raw file. So which is better? In my opinion, RAW is definitely better because it is a large file. It has a lot of information which the JPEG does not have. So processing it, tweaking it according to your taste and preferences is very easy. And with storage costs coming down so much, I think that the storage factor is now becoming irrelevant. So unless you are shooting for a job that requires almost instant delivery, like if you are shooting a match where you need to send your 
pictures to the magazine that you're working for or you are a photojournalist that needs to submit a photograph at the end of the day, I would really recommend shooting raw. Also, I feel that you do not know the real value of an image when you take it. You will know the real value of an image maybe five years or ten years down the line. And it will not make you feel really good if you know that you did not shoot with the best possible options then. So I think that shooting raw is a great way to create a digital negative which you can enhance and change according to your tastes as the years go by. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel. And until the next video, bye-bye.